Hey team, how are you? Welcome back. So today's workout, today's workout we're simply calling capacity and it's simply because we're trying to keep up the same pace and we're trying to build our aerobic engine. Now we're going to mix and match with a bit of, let's call it conditioning, you call it cardio, I'll call it conditioning, with some weights and we're choosing just one pair of dumbbells for today's workout. Outside of that, then we're going to use a ski erg, we're going to use the assault bike, and we're going to use some bodyweight activity. Now, we're going to break this up into two mini workouts. They're both going to go 12 minutes long. So we're going to do AMRAPs, or as many rounds as possible, of each of the sets in the 12 minute. At the end of the 12 minute, I'm going to give you a two minute break, bring your heart rates back down, try and rest, try and recover, and then we're going to go again. So all up, we're talking just shy of 26 minutes for the actual workout itself, and we should still be pumping out around 450 to 500 calories in that time. Now, if we don't have a ski erg, we can skip, all right? And the skipping will go for, let's say, 30 seconds. Likewise, too, we could use the same thing for the assault bike. If we don't have that there, we can go for 30 seconds, or we can do some shuttle runs for roughly 30 seconds. So you can set yourselves alternately an interval timer that goes for 30 seconds. 30 on, 30 off, 30 on, 30 off, and all you simply do is you'll alternate the movements between the on period and the off period. So this is how the breakdown simply goes. Round number one is the assault bike and some body weight, namely two of our zoom moves, what we currently call our weapons. We're going to go for 10 calories on the assault bike. If we're sitting at around the 60 RPM, that's a cruise, it's a cruisy 30 seconds. If we want to go any faster than that, then yeah, we need to up the ante. So I tried to stay at 70 RPM to get my 10 and then get off. I take a couple of seconds just to get my breath and then I'm hitting the floor for my first zoom movement. So again, 10 calories, we're going to come on the floor and we're going to do 20 straddles. So again, hands are here for those who know what these are in that little ball up position, jumping forward and back, jumping forward and back. So one, two. So we're trying to jump the outside foot to the hand we're trying to bring that middle foot that's always going to come in and out to form the triangle. We're going to get 20 straddles. We're then going to go and jump back on the bike. Yeah, got for punishment, back on the bike for the second set of 10 calories. Then we're going to come off and then we're going to do our kick sits, okay, for 20. That is part A. Simply repeat that. 10 calories, 20 straddles, 10 calories, 20 kick sits on repeat. If we're doing this at pace, we should be looking to get the 10 calories in every 30 seconds, times it by two, that's a minute, trying to get our 20 straddles and our 20 kicks is easy, also two in the 30 seconds. We're talking two minutes for a round, right? So therefore we're aiming for five to six because we're gonna fatigue a little tiny bit, five to six in that 12 minute. Go to rest for two minutes. Gonna go into part B, we're gonna use the ski erg. Now with the ski erg, I simply, I'm gonna keep that again also, to a shorter number, but this time we're going to up the ante. We're going to go for 15 calories. It's strong, it's aggressive, it's ripping through, right? If you need to jump and stop to get these calories, then do so. Try not to break the handles, or what I call, say, the Shrek. Don't pull out Shrek's ears, for those who understand what that means. You're going to get your 15 calories. After 15 calories, you're going to come under the floor. We're going to lay down. You're going to grab your dumbbells, and you're going to rack them up to the top, and you're gonna bang out 15 of your double dumbbell floor presses. We're not on the bench, we're on the floor, so we can get our arms, as soon as they touch, bang, that's our movement. We're just coming to here, and bang, and punching them straight back out for the 15. Put them down, back onto that sucker again for another 15 calories. Again, rip into this, rip in as much as you can. It's gonna tax the breathing, it's gonna feel a little bit burned, but hey, we're going to be done in 12 minutes and then we're going to come back onto the final movement and we're just going to simply do some bent rows. But we're going to change the way. So a lot of people do it like this, holding on the thing. I actually want us to pretend there's no other objects in the floor and I simply get down. I'm going to simply get down to what we said, old school, old guys, and get under our haunches, right? When elbow is here, my hand is here, that's the right distance I can grab that dumbbell and I can row. I'm not pulling through my hips. I'm trying to row to try to keep my hips square. And again, I'm going to get 15. 15 on my right, 15 on my left. If 
your dumbbells are heavy, and you can't get 15, man, set a five, 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 and you're done. Just break it up. As long as you get 15 in each hand, that completes the round, and we're back on. 12 minutes, two lots of 12 minutes, two minute break in between, you'll be done, you'll be toasted, your nervous system will be on fire, you'll feel like you wanna vomit, I almost did, but that's the whole idea of today, we're trying to build the engine. I'm not trying to make you sick, I'm just saying if you go hard, you're gonna feel like you wanna be sick, but at the end of the day, guys, it's all mental. That's it, my name is Don McShaw, this is our capacity day, simple, easy, straightforward, don't have the bike, shuttle runs, don't have the ski, skipping, other than that, you can do this stuff. Don't have some dumbbells, you can do some push-ups. Easy peasy. You can do some TRX, some banded rows. Either way, use upstairs, find a way, get the workout done, I'm out.